Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is, uh, I'm shooting this one on my phone. This is going to be a short, sweet one as a proof of concept from a video that I released uh, several weeks ago regarding piston oilers. Piston jets were first introduced in the twin cam and have carried over to the M8. They're a cast of aluminum nozzle with a little ball and spring on the inside and it acts like a check valve. Oil is fed through the cam plate, then through the engine case to the lifter borers, and finally to the piston jet, which sprays oil on the bottom of the piston. Now, their purpose is to help cool the piston due to leaner fuel mixtures being used in later model engines, but if they leak at the seal on the back or, or the check valve doesn't function properly, they can also be a source of a lot of problems, including starving oil to the top end, noisy lift lifters at idle, and also sumping. Now, if you haven't seen our M8 engine teardown videos for Steven, after this video, I would like to strongly encourage you to watch those videos because this one little piston oiler was the cause of what became a severe sumping issue and led to his engine failure. If you remember, we tore down an M8 and determined that it had a, a bad piston oiler assembly in it, and that's what led to a sumping issue. Twin cam owners, you had that issue too, and you may not have even known it. So today we're just gonna take a couple of minutes and I'm going to show you why we test piston oilers with the GEMS piston jet tester on every Skunk Series engine we build. So stick around. Tomorrow I've got multiple twin cam bottom ends to get uh, built up. I've actually got four on the schedule uh, to get those, uh, the, the cranks in it and get in place set, the Timken bearing and everything else, get those bottom ends assembled so that we can then move on to the next process. And we've got a bunch of twin cams and M8s to go right in behind it. So today I'm gonna show you why we test all piston oilers. Okay, a recap from the video. This is a piston jet assembly here. This is the GEM 772 piston oil jet tester. The way that this should operate is the, the check valve in here should stay closed until we hit approximately uh, 12 to 13 PSI, be wide open at 15 PSI. But watch this one. We're already moving the paper and not even up to five PSI yet. At five PSI, we've got flow all the way back down to zero. We'll do it one more time. There's five, 10, all in. So the check valve in this one is not working, meaning at idle and low RPMs, your piston jet is gonna be spraying all the time. So now the big question is, what's the failure rate? I tested four sets of oilers for the four twin cam engine bottom ends that I've got to set up and build and blueprint tomorrow and check piston skirt clearances and all that type of stuff. I have four to do tomorrow. So what's the failure rate? Four tested good. The three that you see there plus the one that failed there are bad. That's a 50% failure rate and I don't like taking chances. So without question, obviously, this is an important part of the build process. We do this on every Skunk Series engine we do, and if you're building one or having an engine built, make sure that you're testing your piston oilers as well. So guys, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm gonna get back to work. Have a good one.